Hello dear students, welcome. Now I'm going to make a presentation about Afyon Karahisar Health Sciences University and I'm going to give some brief information about Atatürk Health Services Vocational School. Yes, let's start. Atatürk Health Services Vocational High School started its active with uh, its associate degree in the 1992-1993 academic year. Our school continues its activities in a detached service building with a total of 12 classrooms, two amphitheater, one reading room, one orthopedic prosthesis or diagnostic workshop, one medical laboratory, one dialysis program laboratory, one elderly care laboratory, one computer laboratory. The staff in our school of higher education consists of one manager, one secretary, 32 academic staff and four administrative staff in a total of 37 people. Under the medical services and techniques department, there are electro-neurophysiology program, dialysis program, first and emergency program, orthopedic prosthesis and orthotic program, health institutions management program, medical documentation and secretarial program, medical imaging techniques program, medical laboratory techniques program. Under the therapy and rehabilitation department, there is a physiotherapy program and under the healthcare services department, there are elderly care program and patient care program. Medical laboratory techniques program. In this program, technical staff is trained on the operation and the analysis of the methods and devices used in clinical and other research laboratories. While theoretical courses are held in the classrooms and conference halls of our vocational school, university health practice and research center can also be used for applications if deemed necessary. Our graduates are given the title of Medical Laboratory Technician. electro neurophysiology program. In this program, which trains health professionals working under the supervision of a specialist physician in the use of neurophysiological methods used in the diagnosis of diseases with central nervous system disorders, while theoretical courses are held in the classrooms and conference halls of our vocational school. University Health Practice and Research Center can also be used for applications if deemed, if deemed necessary. Graduates are given the title of electro neurophysiology technician. Health Institutions Management Program. Health institutions operators can work in public, university, and foundation hospitals, private hospitals, rehabilitation centers, relevant units of various, various institutions, private insurance companies, industrial in, in, institutions producing research and medical devices, and research centers. Our graduates as health institutions operator do the jobs such as meeting the personnel needs of the health institutions, employing the personnel efficiently, purchasing tools and equipment, planning and conducting the works effectively. Medical documentation and secretariat program. This program trains health technicians who are capable of running the secretariat in health institutions, able to record the diagnosis and treatment of diseases, prepare medical administrative and statistical documents, can organize and archive documents, organize and develop the archive, prepare patients for examination with patient admission and file procedures to provide written and verbal communication with the stakeholders of the unit they work. Our graduates have the opportunity to work in all areas of the health sector. Medical imaging program. Uh, this program trains qualified radiology technicians who can prepare the patients for the diagnosis and treatment of diseases by using ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, obtain images with medical imaging devices, 
such as conventional and digital X-ray, fluoroscopy, computer tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, PET, CT, and ultrasonography, make the films and images ready for the use, device, and have the knowledge and skills to control and maintain the equipment. Physiotherapy program. Our graduates who completed this program and gained the title of physiotherapy technician participate in the business life as a healthcare personnel who helps to provide safe, effective, and quality physical therapy services to individuals by working under the supervision of PTR specialist physician and physiotherapist in all health institutions providing physiotherapy services. Orth orthopedic prosthesis orthotic program. The purpose of this program is to train health personnel to work on the construction of artificial organs or assistive devices applied to body parts that need to be supported, protected, and corrected for any reason. Dialysis program. This program trains health technicians working in diseases requiring dialysis treatment and in the stages of taking the patient into the dialysis machine, following and treating, ending the dialysis processes, providing qualified health care to the patients, receiving adequate training on technical issues related to the hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis unit, informing patients and their relatives about the dialysis treatment. Our graduates who have completed this program can work in the dialysis unit of public and private health institutions under the supervision of specialist doctor. First, an emergency aid program. In this program, assistant medical personnel are trained to provide pre-hospital emergency services professionally and life-saving and disability preventive medical intervention until the main treatment of patients and injured. Our graduates who have successfully completed the program can work in the private sector uh, or public ambulances and hospitals with the title of first and emergency aid technician. Elderly care program. In this program, elderly care technicians are trained to provide the maintenance works in accordance with the physical, mental, and social needs of the elderly population and can provide services in the fields of elderly care, education, and related institutions at home or in institutions. Our graduates can go on their careers in public institutions, municipalities, hospitals, non-governmental organizations, and private sector where elderly care services are carried out. Nursing homes, elderly nursing homes, weak homes, elderly centers, units for elderly people in health institutions and in home care services. 